Hey everyone, I'm Frank. I'm Janelle. And we are eBay resellers. We go around to garage sales, thrift stores, and anywhere else we can find undervalued stuff, buy it, and resell it on eBay for a little bit of profit. Janelle does it full time. I help her out part time because I still have a full time job. And this kicks off another week of what we sold. So we're going to start here tonight on Monday night and carry it all the way over till Sunday night. So I'll let Janelle show you what we sold for tonight. All right, so first thing we got here is a Ginny doll. I have it wrapped up. It's it's in the box, but it's not like in the box, so it's loose. I didn't want it falling out and getting all messed up. It's a redhead doll, posable with uh, clothes. Sold for $41. I think we got that for $3 or so at a garage sale. Frank found that. A Monster High doll, Forbidden Love, um, for $49.99. I can't remember now where I got this one. I've had it, I mean, just since June. I've found a lot of them at the bins at some uh, free piles. So I, I don't remember exactly where this one was, but $49 for, for a doll is pretty good. Uh, FAO Schwartz Husky Plush stuffed animal there for $28.95. It's going international um, for, let's see. Mm -hmm to India, $19 shipping international to India on the dog stuffed animal. Then we got a handoff game, Florida Gators uh, football board game. It's still new sealed. I think we found that at a garage sale. That sold for $12.95. And, oh, that might be, let's see. Oh, that's not international, but yeah, that's just going to Utah. It's going a little ways away. Um, we sold a golf head cover, MG Golf. I've had that since March. I've had that a while. Uh, that sold for $9.99. Nothing crazy, but light, easy to ship. Um, I sold some chess pieces, some more replacement chess pieces, um, pawns that go with the Radio Shack computerized electronic chess. Couple of replacement parts there. We didn't have all the parts to the game, so we just pieced out the rest of what we did have. And then a record, Nat King Cole for 650. I think we took an offer on that. Not worth a ton, but it adds up. So, and that's it for now. We'll see if we end up selling anything else the rest of the night that I'll have to come out and pack tomorrow morning before going out. I don't know, we'll see. But not too bad for a Monday night, I guess. So. Okay, now we have Tuesday's sales. Uh, I'll go over real quick what we sold. First thing, for $29.99, we sold a vintage Barbie backpack. And that's a recent listing, so I sold fairly quick. Uh, we listed this back in June, sold for $29.99, another Monster High doll. And then we have the Jones Girls. Who can I run to? I believe it's a single hit. S had that since May. We took an offer on three dollars for three dollars on that. Probably not really making any money on that, but uh, it's better to sell it than to throw it out, I guess. And then we have a voice recorder that we sold for forty dollars. That's a new listing as well, so that sold fairly quick. And another record out of my big lot that I bought from my guy. Uh, Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell, that sold for $25. And then these are the three hybrids that I bought for $2 each. So I got $6 into these, and I took an offer for $85 on that. I had them uh, priced high, about $110. They, they were selling for about $90, so I, I was okay for an offer on $85 for that. And then we have a Wii... Guitar, rock band guitar, that sold for $39.99. And I think that's a recent listing as well. That yep. Yeah, we listed that back in July, um, well, right in July. <laughs> and then the last thing we sold for $24 is a straightener, flat iron straightener. I think it's brand new. Uh, we picked that up back in June. So that was sat around for a little while so that's it for tuesday hey we finally made it to wednesday we're halfway there uh, i'm gonna show you what sold tonight um what didn't make it in yesterday's clip was a um just a, a glass um vintage 
Peanuts beer mug. It used to it used to have peanuts in it. I don't know if you guys are uh, familiar with the Fisher's peanuts jars, jugs with the handle. And then once you finish the peanuts, you could use it as a beer mug. So the Seattle Seahawks won for, uh, I think it was like $10, maybe a little less. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, we got a whole mess load of them, and we're getting down to the last few of them, actually. It took us about a good part of the year to, to sell them. And we sold a Bob Dylan record set. Uh, I believe it was like a box of five records that we sold for $50. I'll put that sold listing up here on the screen, too. Um, it, it sold late last night, and then Janelle packed them up first thing this morning before she brought the orders out. So let's get to it. Uh, first thing we got is a George Thorogood and the Destroyers Maverick record. That sold for $7 plus shipping. Uh, next thing is, I would have thought this would have sold for a little more, but it didn't. But whatever, we still made money on it. Uh, it's a Sony Walkman CD player, uh, Discman, I believe. That sold for $15. The next thing we sold is a brand new wall mount hair dryer. Yeah, yeah, I, you probably see these in uh, hotels mounted in the wall. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. A vintage Little Tykes van. It's got the van and some of the people in there too. We've had that a little while since June. I, I believe that was early June. So it's been a good month, if not a little more. Uh, that sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Uh, the next thing, we've had this for a while. I know we've had this a while. It's a uh, putter. E core putter. EC4. I think it's like True Line or something. Yeah. Let that go for $10.95. Had that for a while. It's nothing fancy, nothing too crazy about that putter, but I'm sure we got it for like a dollar or two. So made some money on that. The next thing is a Poly Pocket piano a uh, recital piano it opens up and it's a little piano and some pieces in there that sold for 68 dollars uh we had it listed i think for 72 or a little more than 70. janelle listed it high and we took an offer for 68 dollars a build-a-bear outfit for nine dollars it's a set of scrubs for a build-a-bear so that's pretty neat uh it was a had that yeah i had that in july too i think that's new with the tags still on it but only nine dollars and then the next thing a fisher price sugar monkey we've Snug, sold snug a monkey oh i'm sorry snug a monkey not sugar monkey that'd be pretty cool <laughs> sugar monkey <laughs> <laughs> will you be my sugar monkey um see, we've sold these before uh they bring about anywhere from 30 to 40 hours in between there this sold for 37 right about the average uh i know janelle finds a lot of these and they they usually sell fairly quickly uh yep july that's another july listing so we're we're uh, getting a pretty quick rotation of things around here. And next thing, Sony Digital Voice Recorder. That uh, I think we just sold one of these. You had a couple of these? Well, that's a different one, but it yeah. we sold another voice recorder. That sold yeah. for $44.99. Sorry, you can't see it, but you'll see the you'll, picture on the screen with um, the sold listing. I actually found this little thing at the bins. Was in a, uh, I was in the bottom of a bin somewhere, so that was a lucky find that it actually worked. And the next thing, which is the most exciting item, open box Wii Zapper. With the game. The with, Lynx. with the Lynx crossbow game. And that sold for $37.43, listed in July as well. Uh, did you take an offer on that? I, I'm surprised it didn't sell for a little more. I think, um, oh gosh, I feel like that was kind of what I was asking for it. Maybe, was it the comp? I mean, it must have been the comp. It was right around there, yeah. I think I got it for like $2 at a garage sale. So, all right, cool. So that's our sold listings for Wednesday. Hey guys, so it's Thursday. We got our orders to pull and get ready to ship. We only got a couple today, but I got my helper here, mm -hmm. Frankie, helping me with some stuff. Yeah, uh-huh, I'm here. All right, what do we sell, Frankie? So we sold an Oxbox game. Oh. I mean, it's not the Oxbox. I, I'm an SD. I, I, I forgot the name. That's a PlayStation 2 game, Area 51. Um, we sold that for $19.99. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. What else do we sell? Let me see this. No, what else do we sell? We a John Deere clock. A, a John Deere clock? Mm-hmm. Cool. Thank you. We sold that for $43, I believe. Did you... They're different, they're different tractors. 
Um, Frank actually found this at a, yeah, this is one of the things that you found at a, um, that garage sale that was in the parking lot a couple weeks back, or a month back or it so. Was, it was more than one, in the, it was more than one, and it was in the line. It was more than one clock? Yeah. Well, we didn't get, we didn't get the other clock. We just got the John Deere clock. Yeah. But, yeah. So, no, that was not what I'm saying. Oh, you mean the sales? There was yeah. more than one sale? Yeah, the and they were all in a line. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yep, so it was, a, it was a light night tonight. Only two things going out. We'll see if we end up selling anything else. Hey, everyone. Sunday afternoon. This is going to ramp up the week of sales. We're going through. I got a lot of sales here from the weekend, um, all from back since Friday evening or Friday during the day even. So I'm going to try to whip through these really quick. Show you what they sold for real quick and uh, get this video wrapped up for you guys. All right, first thing we got are some records that we sold. So Frankie, what records did we sell this weekend? This is Nat King Cole, Love is the Thing. And that sold for $7.95. What, uh, what do we got next there, Frank? Next one is Pearl Bailey Sings for Adults Only. And that sold for $9.95. The next one is George Thorogood live album that sold for $9.95. And the last one, uh, I think this is actually, this is a Merry Christmas Jackie Gleason. And I think this is our first Christmas item we have sold um, leading through the summer here. I could be wrong, but I'm wondering if this is the start and trigger of Christmas stuff that's going to be selling. So I'm going to be... We actually sold a Johnny Mathis Christmas one a week or two ago. Oh, okay. So maybe we're, you know, inching into the Christmas stuff. You guys might want to get that Christmas stuff listed pretty soon. And that sold for $17.99. Alright, so that's our records. And then I'll zip through the other items we sold really fast. First thing, Tiger Quiz. It's a quiz game. Not sure. I had one of these when I was a kid. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these. It's a little book and cartridges in there, and then, um, of course I'm not going to open it because I'm on camera. Trivia. It's, uh, yeah, you answer questions on it. This was actually given to us by my stepdad to sell. We've had it since February, so it's pretty cool to see that go. That sold for $18.99, and he gave it to us with a little tackle, tackle box, so I included that with the listing, too. Next thing is a Polly Pocket necklace. This sold for $20 even, and we've had that since Just July. Yep. Cinderella. Next thing, Stephen King VHS, um, Misery. Misery and The Shining. And that sold for $14.99. A Sesame Street school bus tin. That sold for $11.19. That we've had since November. We actually, uh, you're going to see over the weekend here, we sold a lot of older listing things. So that's really exciting. We like to see old stuff get the heck out of here. The VHS we had recently since June. The next thing you guys are going to laugh at me for trying to pronounce is Shadow of Kilim Kil Kilimanjaro. The VHS, that sold for $18. Looks pretty scary there. Uh, I know a lot of people say watch out for horror films on VHS and DVDs that they sell pretty good. That we have had since July. That's a recent listing too. Sold some Barney slippers for $15.50 plus $19 shipping. That's going to Australia. Sorry, bye. I'm leaving. And we've had that since May. Another somewhat older listing. And the Polly Pocket necklace is going to Thailand for $17 shipping. Next thing is another VHS. Sorry, sold I for $10. Silence of the Lambs. The next thing we got is a Platronics headset telephone. That I sold can. for $42.39. And that we have had since January. So that's an older listing as well. Glad to see that go. We sold another security blanket. Pink Owl security blanket. I don't know the brand. Uh, Janelle will have to explain because I have, I, have, I have no clue why these sell and what they are. But she sells them all the time. $34.43 and that sold fast. That was another fast seller. Uh, what, what brand is that? 
I don't remember. I, it'll be up there on Do the Do you street. just look for all little security blankets with an animal attached to it? or? I look at all security blankets no matter what's on it. I mean, and most of the time, more times out of not, it's not worth anything, but I always look them up and sometimes I'll find something that's actually worth it. I mean, to me, that's just a, like a eight by eight inch rag and then yeah, it's like 20 years old and you sell them so I, yeah. it blows my mind <laughs> next thing is a set of sheriff kelly wild wild, wild west figures a set of four of them um and that sold for 25 dollars and 43 cents and we've had that since Recently. july yep. if you if you happen to catch our skew in the video the first four digits are the month and year that we listed the item. So if I forget to tie in, you happen to catch the skew, just good little tidbit for you. Next thing is NFL football board game. Uh, that sold for $39.99. And well, it looks pretty old. I forgot the, oh, yeah, right there, 1988 board game. I don't think it's new sealed. No. Uh, we've had that since June. So it took a little while to sell, but hey, we made 40 bucks on it. And now that it's getting out of here, we free up some space in our bins. Yes. So we can get some more inventory in. Sold a Callaway Golf Head cover, cover for a uh, ladies clubs, Callaway XR series. That sold for $5.99. And we've had that since January. And the last thing we sold is a Five Nights at Freddy's figures for $22. And that we have had since July. That's another recent listing. Yep. So as you can see, Janelle's been doing awesome at finding items that have been selling fast. And a lot of, you know, this week, you even alone, you've seen a lot of things go out the door that she listed in July. We also, you might have saw that we sold these recently. Uh, we made a mistake on the size yep. the, on the listing. So they obviously didn't fit. So we gave the full refund once they send them back with shipping and everything so we're going to work on getting them relisted so i'm going to get to work um we've been pretty busy hitting it hard in the shed today sundays are usually our busy days in the shed and uh that's about it so we'll see you on the next one